they'll learn how to climb and fight while carrying a back-breaking load of nearly 100 pounds of gear. It's like carrying your mother-in-law on your back to Sunday services. You don't want to do it if you can avoid it. On patrol, each student trades off lugging the heavy weapons. One item they're happy to carry is food. To mimic combat shortages, they're allowed to carry only enough food for two meals. The trading of any leftovers reaches a fevered pitch. Ranger Horn, he loved lemon pound cake with strawberry jam. And myself and Ranger Guy were always in competition to find that yellow pound cake so we could get his fudge brownie. Because the fudge brownie is to just the, the piece of resistance out there in the field. A dangerous handicap threatens to push one more from the class. Ranger hopeful Justin Michael has been bitten by a poisonous recluse spider. It hurt like hell. I knocked it away. And uh, from then, you know, I just continued the mission and uh, it started to fester after about two days. Michael is in serious need of medical attention. Well, this is going to numb me up. Army medics perform open air surgery to extract the spreading poison from beneath his face. Okay, a little stick is going to be sticking the bone. In an excruciating procedure done with no anesthetic, a large piece of medical gauze is inserted under his skin. No vision changes, no dizziness. No, no, sir, you fixed me up. No, no, no big pain? No, sir. Due to the severity of his injury, the medical staff urges that Michael willingly drop from the class. But in true ranger spirit, he refuses and soldiers on. Regardless of whether I'm injured or not, I still have to continue training. And uh, there's no way they're going to make me quit. The class now puts their newfound mountaineering skills to the test. Ladies one, Justin! Stand up on that X-ray. Lock that right knee down. That ain't doing no good. Place your toes flat against the rock like that. But fatigue and frustration wreak havoc. Keep your body into the rock. Time now, Ranger. Fierce reprimands from the Ranger instructors echo across the rocks. Taking to the air, Class 10 will add high speed air assaults in Army Blackhawk helicopters to their lethal bag of tricks. Gun one, gun two, let's go! An ambush drill signals a return to the simulated round-the-clock war. Get out of there! Ah! Amidst the confusion, the students scatter and leave behind some weapons. It's a critical mistake, and it results in two students being dropped from the course. What is this over here? You over there. What are you doing? One of them is Adrian Spivak. His last chance to complete Ranger School now lost. He quickly packs up and goes home. As modern Ranger units fight mostly at night, they must turn darkness into an ally. These student rangers wear night vision goggles and push the fight into the shadows. After six weeks with very little sleep, just staying awake is a Herculean challenge. Daylight's easy to stay awake. It's, it's when you get in the patrol base at two in the morning and you gotta make it three hours until, or four hours until the sun comes up, that's when it's hard to stay awake. You're gonna fall asleep, inevitable. It's often at this stage that hunger and exhaustion trigger the onset of hallucinations. It's really hard to describe exactly how tired they are. You, you see some uh, strange things when you're in the wood line. I've seen students at night uh, standing in front of trees uh, uh, thinking it was Coke machines.